there are some days you just want to stay in bed the whole day. Oh my gosh. Mm. But then you say, you know, I got stuff to do. So I think we're going to explore today some new stuff. Give me 30, you know, 11 more seconds and I'll get up. Okay, up, up, up. Up, up, up. Oh, my hair. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Meet the Bears. <laughs> Well, I shaved. I had too many like little gray hairs coming out of my chin. Hello. So, a lot of stuff is going on in the world, huh? Sometimes you just want to stay in bed and pull the covers up. But, you start thinking about all of those things that you want to do and have to do and what you believe in. And you say, you know what? I make a difference. One thing that I wanted to say, and I'm going to say this right, right away, to all the Performing Arts Studio West family, to the Meet the Biz family, um, to the human family, to my family, to my friends. I love you very much. And I want you to know that you are incredibly important. You and you and me and we're going to make a positive, loving difference in this world. And I heard a voice in the back of my head say, well, from that wonderful movie with Betty Davis, it's going to be a bumpy night. And it probably will, but that is life the ups and downs of life and what we stand for. And what I stand for, I was thinking about favorite words and I would have to say my favorite word is love. Now I thought of all you need is love. Bum, 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 bum. There's so many songs about love. God, that'd be a great assignment, wouldn't it? If everybody like picked out a love song and sang it, even if it was just a line from it, that would be cool. And you put all the love songs together. It's an idea, idea. To start ideas too, this is something that you might wanna do. One line a day. One line a day, it could be one line a day, it could be, um, oh, it could be a paragraph, it could be a page, it could be as many pages as you want. And I, I'm gonna find a pen in here. Oh, oh, wait a minute, where is it? I've gotta show you this. I got this, is it here, is it here? It is here. Guess what I got in the mail? Sorry, I'm jumping, but it, you'll see it all connects. I got a, a 
package here, a message from um, our dear friend, Janet Gallen. A letter, as we say, love letters live. Ah, uh, let's see. Hello, darling. Sometimes we, each and every one of us, need a new magic wand. <laughs> full of never before imagined possibilities. And here is yours, with love for me, Janet. So, it's been open, so I sort of know what it is, but it's, I just have to show you this. So it comes in this beautiful package, and what is it? <gasps> a new magic wand. I love it! I love this. I love this. And I called her back and I wrote her a letter, which writing letters, as we, we saw in the two Janet Gallen um, Meet the Biz episodes, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And you could write more than letters. You can take your diary, your book. If you don't have one yet, get one, order one online somewhere. So I'm going to pick today's date because this is, this is one line a day for five years. So when you go back, you can look at where you have been. So I've got to find the date here. Oh, here we go. All right. Today's day. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Ah, there we go. So, I can even do one word today because favorite word, word of the day is love, which has so many connections. Love yourself, because you gotta love yourself, right? Some people say, no, you don't. Well, by loving yourself, you can truly love others even more. I, I wrote a list of some of my favorite words and I'm gonna like maybe throw a different word out at different times. But today's word is love. So I want you to think of your, when well, love that, I want you to think of your, <laughs> I'm starting to really like this magic wand. I want you to think of your favorite word today. And uh, let me know what it is. I'd love to find out. By the way, like the last um, couple times or so, I'm not gonna put assignments online anymore, but I will let you know where to send your assignments this time and then I won't throw it out anymore. Let me tell you for the assignments for now on, um, you need to register for, to get the assignments to participate in the 2020 Meet the Biz assignments. Now, email me your name and your email. If you want, you could do phone number, but I just need your contact info, your name and your email. And then I will email you back a list of the monthly assignments. So the month of June, we're in June right now, um, I will send it to you when you send it to me. Now, in the subject matter, put Meet the Biz 2020. Meet the Biz 2020. And send it to david at pastudiowest.com. Again, that's david at pastudio.com. Um, D-A-V-I-D at P-A-S-T-U-D-I-O-W-E-S-T dot C-O-M. So there you go. Um, and from now on, that's where the assignments will go. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. I have a show and tell time. I, uh, as I mentioned before, I, uh, I have been going through uh, all those boxes and I finally finished them. 
and uh, I narrowed 60 down to 20, as you know. Uh, and I came across my cassette tape box. And I have a cassette machine right here. <laughs> New compact size. I wonder when I got this, 1980? I don't know. Anyway, I have something I'm going to play for you that I haven't really heard since I was a sophomore in high school. Um, and uh, mm, I got fresh ginger. Mm, have you tried it yet? Fresh ginger, shaved, like I told you, little honey, stirred up, hot. Very nice. Mm. So, right now, I have this. Oh, somebody texted me. Hold on. Ah! Ooh! Okay, it's a message from one of our future surprise guests on Meet the Biz. So, I'm going to call them back after. By the way, when you send your email to me, that will list the next. 20 guests and uh, you'll read the instructions. Now, while we're here, this is it's show and tell time. <laughs> oh, that energy so, sort of blows my mind. Yeah. Um, this is from a show that I did in sophomore year in high school. Uh, and I had a supporting cast role. But this was the this was the show that really made me say, ah, I like acting. Um, bells are ringing. And I played Dr. Kitchell, the dentist. And he is the singing dentist. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sharing this with you. I'll be quiet for the next three minutes while you listen to me in talk. I love your sunny teeth. Your funny sunny teeth. Smell like a pearly beast.
I'm so glad my mom and dad taped that. I knew I had it somewhere and I finally opened up this box and there it was, this little cassette tape of memories. Memories with Shelley Winhall on the stage at high school. And it was those little seeds, those memories that you use in your work. Yes. And you live them and relive them and take them in. It's those memories that, I don't know, I'm sort of speechless right now. You know, it takes you to this moment and you could really take it in and you could use your memories. Now you don't need a cassette tape for this. You could think about something. You could think about grandmother's applesauce. Ah, the taste of it. Oh, or the scent. Oh my God, my mom's rose garden or the touch. My hands. <laughs> and you could use these <laughs> in your work, yes. And even not if in your work, you could look at them as positive, wonderful memories. It's all connected, you know, it goes from one part to another by feeling this and taking them back to sophomore year in high school. You were young and no worries. And and you were just starting in the acting profession <laughs> or the joy of acting, whatever it, the road may lead to. So I wanted to share that with you, not just to share it with you for a show and tell memory, but to also show that you can use yourself you use yourself in the work of acting. And for those who aren't actors, you can go back there and sometimes some people will go to the negative side of it. This is not a class on how to switch yourself to the positive side, but it is possibly a way to say, okay, what is this? that makes me happy. Sometimes when we do cry, when we do shed a tear, a lot of the time it's for joy. And then there is a lot of time for sadness. But to perk ourselves up, we can always focus on that or what we need to if we're working. Again, my joy right now is being here with you, being here, well, I know this is on the video, and this is me talking to you through a little green button up there, green light. But my joy is to see the people that I love move forward and grow their artistry and speak their voice and stand up for my favorite word, love. I hope that you will allow yourself to find the love that's right here.
to you, to us. Let's move forward. <clears throat> 